Hi, so I want to talk about soldering irons today. So I had uh, this, this one it's like a, it's a cordless, cordless one. It works with, uh, let me see if I can zoom a bit. Okay, it, uh, it uses a lithium ion uh, battery. It's four volts and eight watts total power. Uh, this was great. Problem is uh, the the tip. I, I kind of cut it and modified it in the meantime. The problem is the the tip. This one. Uh, this one is from this one. What just saying? It was like a screw, screw like a bulb screw type here. You probably seen them. Um, in I don't know one year or two, I just uh, eaten through the copper. So problem was I couldn't find this and when I found them they were as expensive as a brand new unit. So I just uh, gave up on this guy, just cut this uh, socket bulb socket from here and turn it into a rechargeable flashlight. Because <laughs> anyway instead of buying this I can just buy another one. Then I was thinking how could the, because I, I didn't manage to find any easy way to replace that one. I tried different tutorials online but nothing really worked or was easy. Okay, next I have this one. This one is one you plug it in the wall, you probably know it. I just, but I did a few upgrades to this. Normally this one comes with this socket, at least in Europe. It's quite hard to pull this one with one hand from the socket, so I just moved to this one. Of course, I gave up on the ground. Normally there is ground connected to this one, in case the resistor short or something, but I don't think that's gonna happen anyway. And uh, this one is much easier to pull it with one hand. And uh, it's also longer wire compared to this one, which was it's pretty short. Okay, but next the the next problem, uh, it's the tip here. Let me show you. Let me remove this one. So in order to remove the tip, you just unscrew this release. Okay, so normally he comes with uh, this one. This is the type of head he comes. These are not very expensive, but uh, you cannot easily find it all the time. So normally you plug this here, tighten this and that's it. The, once it gets it, then you just pull it more out. But then, I thought about, um, while well, I was researching how to get a new head for this one. Uh, I'm using this copper, it's just normal copper wire, it's 2.5 millimeters. You just uh, unsolder and bend like this. Basically, it's uh, sorry, this one. This one is just oxidized because of the heat, doesn't look pretty as this one. Okay, and for the tip, you just take a sandpaper and uh, make it uh, a bit like this. You see, it's like tapered here, so it's more pointy at the at the end. Okay, and this one actually fits fits quite well, and I can uh, adjust it. the 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 deal is when I when you try to to put this on the sandpaper, it kind of burns through it pretty fast, and they're a bit expensive. But this is dirt cheap. This why we can get it super cheap. It's normal uh, wiring that you put through the walls, and um, I noticed you can you can just buy a ten millimeter solid wire like this that's usually used for grounding, and I think it's just gonna fit like this uh, without needing to bend it. And you can just uh, uh, use sandpaper on the tip here. I I still need to try it. I'm not sure if these uh, are all the same size. This ones okay so this is like the second upgrade I did and the next one is related to this one because I, I like the the portability of this one with the with the battery 
I while I was trying to make some type of head here in which I could uh, put this chip wire easily I, I realized that basically this one is much easier this tip and, and, I, and I saw online you can find inside of here you can find the replacement resistors that are very cheap and you can find them like for 220 voltage the mains or 110 but I also saw some that work at 12 or 24 volts so you might find uh, even one that works for 4 volts or at least the maybe use the 12 volts one and connect it to the to a little ion like this and uh, like this you get uh, very cheap pens like this because th this this is very easy to use of course the problem is you kind of waste a bit of heat in uh, this exposed part compared to this one which was very short like this but uh, you get unlimited cheap pens I don't know I just <laughs> thinking <laughs> I will, I will just try that next but for now I mean this works great if you ask me this tip it's even better than this one okay hope you enjoy it like and subscribe if you want to see more